Here we are at the Alia Return Center. It's a wonderful pleasure to welcome in many nations, including uh, artists and the like. Uh, you see here, there's definitely, out of the 2.4 billion Christians, there's definitely what I say 1% of those action, people of action, those who care about the Word of God. Yes, not only in the New Testament, but in the full, full book. Uh, and they have a part laid out for them. And they are playing that part right now. Some of them discovering it for the first time, some of them stepping into a greater measure of that. Praise the Lord. This is my friend Klein Mail Spin. Everybody say hello, shalom. Hello. We're here to hear what God's doing in his life. He's a good friend. In this place, we're housing over 100 people right now. Israelis in need, over 100, about 111. And our team is 25 people. 20 to 25, it's, it's fluctuating all the time. And these people are, the whole thing has been funded just by donations and just run primarily by volunteer labor. That's it. What does it look like to live in the olive tree together and be great? The original branches and the grafting branches, not just at a philosophical, what does it look like practically? God's a good businessman. He doesn't empower someone just so they feel like happy. And that's it. There's a reason, there must be a reason behind this. Romans 11 verse 11. This is the reason salvation has come to the Canadians and so on, to make Israel jealous. We have a role which makes them jealous as we step into our, our role. So the great physician prescribes one Aliyah verse taken a day in the morning with water for a healthier prophetic lifestyle. We believe in, in what's going on and we see that this is the future. We see that. It's called unconditional love here. <laughs> un un uncompromising faith and unconditional love. We're not here to, you know, debate, learn how to relate, celebrate, and participate in what God has got going. I think that this is a miracle and I think that God is really behind this. Who would have ever known that actually, it's kind of like the worst business plan in the world, but give free housing. But yet God is wanting to bless it. The Galileans are back. So then people say, you mean like the disciples? Yeah. You mean like the, the whole, the preparation? The one for all, all for one. The preparation of the way, as God said in Isaiah 9, verse 1 and 2. Galilee of the nations, it's called in Isaiah. That land that's along the way of the sea by the Jordan River, a place that sat in darkness unto it, a great light has shone. I will honor the Galilee of the nations. And that's exactly where we're positioned. We're right along the Jordan River, near the Sea of Galilee. Bring us back. amazing idea. It's an amazing thing because the hardest thing for people is actually to settle down in the land. Uh, what are you going to do? What you, where are you going to live? Where are you going to work? Uh, would you be able to learn the language? You know, things like that is just so important. And just to have a place, a home, uh, uh, at the beginning at least, <laughs> you know, it's so important. Yeah. My name is Dana and I'm the volunteer coordinator here at the Alea Return Center. The Lord put it on my heart last year to quit my job and leave the States to come serve long term in Israel. He really put it on my heart to be a Gentile to help the Jews make Aliyah. Amen. Now we're back. 
Practical Biblical Education and Training for Christians around the world. Serving the people and land of Israel with unconditional love and an uncompromising faith. Please make your donation today. Your monthly gift is a commitment with us in blessing Israel, blessing God. The Aliyah Return Center, 